but it looks like we might have 10 of these coming up. The biggest prize, I would say, for the other side is in Florida with Amendment 4. Speak to these, if you would, uh, and, 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 and bring some clarity to what pro-lifers need to be thinking about as we face these November ballot measures. Yeah. Well, first of all, the reason why you're correct about Florida being the big prize, there's a 60% threshold the pro-aborts have to cross to get that to pass. Mm -hmm. And if they can pass it in a deep red state with a red governor, and especially a governor who's come out opposed to the amendment, if they can pass it there, the, the sky's the limit in their view. Uh, they'll run the table on these things. And I think between you and me, we're going to lose the majority of these for a while. Because mm -hmm. until you get the worldview premises challenged adequately, the public's going to continue voting for these things. And I get really tired of people saying, oh, the language wasn't clear, or, oh, <laughs> uh, you know, we didn't have the right spokespeople. Garbage. No, people know what this is. They know these amendments are about abortion. Let's not be condescending to them, okay?